celebrities are powerful. They grace our point of view. And so we love them for what they are. But there's something we seem to forget about them. It's their struggle and their belief. We always see the fame, but we don't see what's next. But the legendary Jay-Z once said, that being broke is a good option. It makes us learn how to become a greater version of ourselves. My name is Jeff Akumi. I'm going to talk more about how they struggle in life. Keep watching. With most uh, rap artists, they come from a rough neighborhood, so you know they're they're uh, they're a little more um, desensitized, mm. you know. So um, and self esteem is low because in these neighborhoods we're all taught that we're less than and we're not equal to everyone else in the world. So they're fighting against that, against the self esteem and against ego and against everyone ignoring us from mm. that. Point and they're young. For so long, we were living in these neighborhoods boxed in, and those neighborhoods were our world. You know, a lot of people from Brooklyn didn't even take a trip to Manhattan. You know, never been in Central Park. It's 20 minutes away, mm -hmm. and it's free. It's a free park. Yeah. You know, a lot of people have never been in it. You know, our little world was all we knew. We didn't know anything outside of that world. So to look and see people that look like you uh, achieving great things is like, Oh, there is more, you know, and it proves self-esteem and it proves, improves on, upon self-worth, you know, because a lot of choices are made, are made from the position of, you know, my life is not worth much and I'm not, this is, this sort of living is not much, so if I risk my life, you know, what am I really missing? But if you know, you know, how valuable human life is, you have more respect for yours and for others. You know, I wanted to make the case that rap is poetry for one and, you know, some of the decisions we made to give those decisions context. Why these songs are the way up? Why there's this certain gangster rap? You know, why this, you know, uh, uh, is taking place. Chuck D famously said that, you know, rap is the CNN for the ghetto. Those brothers on the corner have the entrepreneurial spirit also. He was able to develop an operation and made three and four million dollars at different points. It would mean that he'd have to be pretty organized to organize a bunch of animals, right? Mm -hmm. Where I'm from, there is no recession. So there's no money there to begin with. When losing's not an option, then you gotta do everything possible to win. Like, and I don't understand how they get there, get, become complacent, and feel like, oh, it's okay. You know, you get people that deal with things by not actually dealing with them, and allow you, at, at, like, you're the boss, and you actually work for them. Because mm -hmm. when you don't call them to say anything about what's going on, they just sit there like, he's coming. He's coming to tell me what's going on. And then when he does, they're going to do the portion of the job that they're comfortable with. Do you want to feel right. like you're afraid all the time? Or do you start to become the aggressor? Mm -hmm. And you start saying, you know what? You ain't got to find me because I'm looking for you. Because the guy in the schoolyard doesn't want to fight, always leaves with a black eye. Mm -hmm. The moment that... You show people that you're not willing to fight, they want to fight. And right. I don't mind losing. I just like to lose at my expense. At, let it be my fault. If I'm losing based on someone else's decision to do it, I'm, I'm furious about it. Yeah. Because I'm like, I, I could have learned it and made better judgment myself than to just allow that to happen. I got instincts. A lot of people will gauge your level of intelligence by you having an associate's, bachelor's, or a master's degree. But a lot of those people retain information long enough to pass midterms and never use it. That. Mm. I just pretty much follow my instincts. Experience and wealth of knowledge and all these things that I've been through and all these things that I've seen, and I've seen, you know, both sides uh, of the equation. If you say something to me today, I'll remind you. i remember what you said to me, and that's how I learned a lot of the things that I said. It's because I'm there, and I'm... You ever heard of ear hustling? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hold on to everything that, right. that flies Especially across. Yeah, we sat there at Theo's office, we talked, and... The first thing he said to me when he came in was like, yo, you know, spoke to the wolves. They was like, it's cool, sit down, y'all do business. And the only thing that prevented me from doing a deal was the first thing he said to me when I walked in. Was he I said, spoke to the wolves? I spoke to the wolves. Mm -hmm. So how would I do business or sign to someone who had to ask right. someone else permission? Who we are and where we come from, there hasn't been, uh, you know, our, our generation, we haven't acquired wealth to hand down and give the opportunities to like the next generation. So my goal is that, you know, uh, that the next, my next generation can uh, have a better start than I had. I won't have to start so far, you know, where I come from. So we have to take care of our family first, you know, as well as giving to charities. Yeah, I'm supposed to be the bad guy. So where's the good guys? Where's the, 
their effort to fix this. Right. It's like, all right, you're at the light. Funny, we're sitting in that position too. Like, you, you pull up to the light and, and a Bentley, you got a moose on. You just like, <laughs> smooth. 2013. And I pull up at the light in a hoopty. I'm in a Dodge, 93 Dodge Caravan. And I didn't wash it. And I'm telling you, roll the window down. Roll the window down, and you look over, and you don't roll your window down. He won't roll his window down. And take the same scenario, you put that guy in, a, in that Bentley at the light, and the guy pulls up next to him in a Ferrari and says, hey, roll the window down. He'll roll the window down, because it was a choice. Mm -hmm. But he feels like you may have something to say of value, but if you actually want to make the window rolled down, you have to fit the description. You know what my grandfather told me? You don't get as far as the motherfuckers you talk to for no reason. You'll be successful as the motherfuckers that you talk to for no reason. What I mean is, if you're spending your day talking to a nigga that ain't got nothing going on, what the fuck kind of information can he offer you? Can he help you learn something? Can he teach you something in the conversation? I had to be run on my own energy. You know, I had to convince myself that, uh, I'm going to make it, you know, regardless of how people felt at, the, at that time. And what, what it does is it, make, it makes you feel like, well, it made me feel like um, there's going to be points that people are going to mistake my confidence for arrogance. See what I'm saying, man? Yeah, Nick, come on, man. Don't play with me that shit. I'll, 33 strategies of war, the art of seduction. Come on, man. All that shit come from the hood, B. It's a parallel between corporate America and the hood, and it's obvious. You see me winning, don't you? And fuck the old Thomas is looking like, yo, that young boy, he, she, he took a page out of my book. But they ain't make all of that fucking money off it that I made off it. So what that make me? That make me a better version of them niggas. Which I had to believe in myself in order to make these things happen. I kind of, I feel like you can will yourself into a good space. Mm -hmm. like, things that are meant to happen will. And if you believe in yourself enough, you can help yourself learn. You can inspire you know, yourself in different ways where you can actually discipline yourself. As anybody who's been successful, you, you've always, the weight of who you are is on you as well. Sure. Do you have the power to get out from up under you? Mm. You know, the power to get out from everything you've done.